Well, right now we are less than a week until the July 4th holiday, and we now have more details on Metro's plans for the holiday weekend. Let's get to 7 News Tom Rousey at the alert desk with what you need to know if you plan to take Metro over the holiday weekend. Tom. Hey, Allison and Michelle, you know, two years ago, before anybody had heard of COVID-19, riders made 401,000 trips on the 4th of July on Metro Rail. Guess how many they made last year, even though there were fireworks? That plummeted all the way to 37,000. Now this year, the number is not expected to be this high, but it's definitely expected to be higher than that. And if you're taking Metro Rail, here are some things you should know. For those watching the fireworks from the National Mall or close to it, you should know the Smithsonian Station will become entry only after 9 p.m. Also, if you prefer to watch the fireworks from Virginia, and a lot of people do, if you're using the Arlington Cemetery Station, it's going to close at 10, so you're going to want to head there pretty quickly after the fire fireworks are over. Metro says from 4 o'clock in the afternoon until the rail system closes at 11 o'clock at night, it's going to be running rush hour service levels. Now, I will warn you these days those levels are not as high as they were pre pandemic, so you could have to wait just a little bit longer for a train than you may have been used to in the past on July 4th. And also don't forget, even though in much of society, these masks are no longer required, they are still required on Metro trains, also at the stations and on Metro Metro buses as well. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tom Rousey, 7 News. Tom, thank you. The National Park Service says the Independence Day fireworks celebration on the National Mall will start at 9.09 p.m. on Sunday. It will launch from both sides of the Lincoln Memorial Reflecting Pool. And 7 News is on your side with the best spots to watch the show around the DMV. You can find all of that information. That list is on our website as well as road closures for the 4th. And remember, every year fireworks are responsible for thousands of injuries and fires. Just last week, 7 News spoke to the Arlington County Fire Department to make sure your celebrations stay safe. We also break down what's legal and illegal in our area. All of that information on WGLA.com.